Hello everyone. In this video, I'll talk about cost centers, how to do cost centers in Tally Prime 5.0. Uh, let us begin. So let us talk about the what is the meaning of cost center first. A cost center can be any unit in the business that uh, we can allocate cost to. It can be like a person or a unit or a product or a branch or a department, anything where we can point out and we can allocate that out of the total expenses, this much was spent on that. This is for the purpose of efficiency so that we can know that what is happening there and know whether we are spending more or not. So this is what is your cost center. In Tally Prime, we can always create different cost centers to keep a check on it. Okay, so let us begin. Uh, uh, we have this cost center illustration first where uh, it's asking us to allocate 2 lakh rupees as traveling expenses to Mahindra, Jitendra, Suresh and Ramesh as 60, 60, 40, 40,000 respectively. So basically these are four cost centers that we have to create and we have to allocate these expenses. This Mahindra, Jitendra, are uh, we will put them under sales team and other two under the technical team. Okay, and uh, traveling expenses is a ledger, the indirect expense that we'll create. Now before this we do, we have to go to tally and first enable the cost center. How do we do it? Let's see. Let us go to tally. This already company I have created cost center. I have done nothing here except the opening of the company. So let me enable the cost center first. For that, you have to go here on the top menu, company feature, company, or simply press F11. If I go to co this uh, company features, F11 option, it's asking me to choose the, definitely another company is open, that's why. So I have to choose my cost center company. And here, the third option under accounting, enable cost center, you have to make it, yes. This is the first thing you have to do, okay? And after that, you please uh, control A to save it. So cost centers are enabled. So let me shut that company so that it will not bug me. Yeah, so I have only one company now. So I have created all this cost center. Now with that, how do you check whether cost center is there or not? If I go to create alter whatever, now you will see cost center is also appearing here okay so cost center has been created now what is our uh, problem our problem is that we have to create cost centers uh, these four guys under sales team and and the uh, technical team so let me create some cost centers for that go to create then go to cost centers and let us create sales team under primary and technical team also under primary okay now here i can uh, easily create those other uh, employees also those mahindra chudrendra jitendra all those guys under sales team and technical team but let me do it a little faster and try the multi option by going to chart of accounts then let's go to cost centers and then right hand side here we have multi master option multi create all items and let us create Mahindra under sales team, Jitendra also under sales team, then Prakash under technical team, and Suresh also under technical team. So I'm making four more cost centers for two each for sales and two each for technical team okay so these are the cost centers that i am defining in tally once i'm done with just accept the screen and you see we have a uh, under primary cost category we have two cost centers sales team and technical team and under sales team cost center we have sub cost centers that is jitendra and uh, mahindra and technical also has two okay so we have created the we have already created now the cost centers okay so now all we have to do is pass this entry uh, we have to create traveling expenses account first so let me create traveling expense how i'll go to create and create a ledger called traveling expenses under indirect expenses and this one cost centers are applicable it must be yes otherwise this traveling expense will not allow the allocation of expenses to those cost centers okay so once you are done with this kindly save it done so let me go back and since i have not introduced any money so let me just go to cash account cash account and give it some opening balance suppose i have five lag since i have not passed any entry so i'm giving the opening balance okay and also let me create something called a bank account sbi account it's a bank account 
let me create bank account so that I have some uh, questions are not applicable Rest, these things I can give later if I have oh man why I'm giving yes it should be no and save it so now we have created a bank account now what we will do we'll simply go to vouchers and pass the transaction transaction so the transaction is that this traveling expense of rupees 2 lakhs I have to allocate among these four employees so let me pass this entry uh, this is your payment voucher please go to payment voucher it's an expense so change the date by pressing F2 and this cost center class uh, this one right now skip it by pressing enter because we have not created so let me create the the account is cash we are paying by cash right now and let me choose traveling expenses so if I choose traveling expense and put here 2 lakhs uh, yeah 2 lakh is the value the moment I press enter this cost allocation screen comes so I simply have to choose who are these guys mm, 60 Mahindra gets 60 Jitendra also gets 60 60,000 then Prakash also gets he gets 40,000 sorry and the last one is Suresh he also gets 40,000 so this is how we are allocating the expenses among these four cost centers then kindly save it by pressing enter and here you see the allocation appears on your voucher also after that there is nothing much to do simply have to write the narration we are done with that so let me see here so this illustration is done so now let us go to the next page and it says profit center so now same guys the same guys this uh, Mahindra, Jitendra, Suresh and Prakash will be considered a profit center if they are reason for some revenue if they are earning some revenue then they will be called a profit center so this uh, so this transaction says that allocate rupees 3 lakh as training program income to Mahindra Jitendra as 2 lakhs and 1 lakh respectively so we don't have to change the cost and just simply pass a voucher so what we'll do first we'll go to the voucher and we will go to the receipt because it's an income so again change the date cost center class let it be nothing right now account this time let me put it SBI let's let's receive by check this time and then we have to choose the ledger account what is the ledger account it is called training program income so let me create because I have not created so alt C is the shortcut key for it so let me write training training program income it's a indirect income so let me choose indirect income and cost centers are applicable make sure it is yes and there you go I have created how much it is it is 3 lakh rupees so let me put 3 lakhs 3 lakh rupees if I press enter again it will ask me to allocate so Mahindra Jitendra 2 lakhs and 1 lakh so let me type M from Mahindra it is 2 lakhs and Jitendra is the rest of one lakh so there we go we have allocated the profit also to these cost centers and then press enter you can see the allocation is right in front of you and once it goes to the once the cursor goes to the total amount it will give you bank allocation screen kindly give the instrument number I'm just giving any random number and bank name sorry, and being being income received that's it so now what I can do I can go to alt G and go to cost center cost center summary and check that I have cost center for sales and technical if I make if I make it why quitting alt F1 if I make it detailed view then you can see that for sales team we have some revenue also whereas for technical team we don't have any revenue yet okay so debit means expenses credit means income generated and closing balance whether you are having income I mean favorable or unfavorable okay so let me go back that's it with the manual allocation of cost centers so we have done one cost center illustration we have done one profit center illustration now less uh, next is your auto allocation of cost centers so this uh, so this uh, transaction is saying that let us auto allocate these four guys with 30 30 20 20 percent respectively so we have to create that okay so let us create first this cost center classes auto allocation so I'll show you how to do it first let's go back to tally 
and to do that you have to go again back to alt k features and then you go to more details on your right hand side and here you will see there is a cost center class here you have to create so first you have to give a name of the cost center class that is expense auto allocation then inside that let me give Jitendra 30% Mahindra also 30% then Prakash 20% and Suresh also 20% so this particular cost center, cost center class I have created, if I choose this the, by the name of expense auto allocation in the while paying, then this uh, ratio will be uh, taken for allocating the expenses or income. Okay. So let me save it. We are done with that. So now let me go to voucher and start passing that thing. So come back to this uh, page. Okay, so the, so the transaction says that allocate rupees 1 lakh as traveling expenses to Mahindra, the Jitendra, Suresh and Ramesh. So let me go and pass uh, transaction. First you change the date by pressing F2. Then when you come to this cost center classes, now here you have to choose expense auto allocation cost center class that we just created. So if I select that, now we don't have to manually put the, the cost allocation. It will do by itself. So let me choose this same cash. And here will be traveling expenses so let me choose traveling expenses what is the amount amount is one lakh rupees and if i press enter it will not go anywhere it has calculated itself of course we cannot see right now i'll show you how to see it later so let me write expenses paid so we are done with this transaction accept it so we are done but you did not see the whether the the cost was allocated properly or not for doing that simply press page up simply press page up and you will see the allocation in the last entry you can see 30 30 20 20 that is in the ratio of 30 percent 30 percent and 20 percent and 20 percent for these four guys okay so we are done with this auto allocation also then uh, last thing that we have to see in the cost center is the cost category what is happening here allocation of expenses to different cost centers across different cost categories yeah so there will be cost centers in two different categories by default if i go here chart of accounts and i go to cost categories by default we have primary cost category only one category there can be more we can create more now we will do that okay so uh, let me go back here and see allocate rupees 2 lakh as traveling expense to delhi branch under branch cost category and sales team under under department cost category so we have to create two cost category one is branch and one is department so branch we will create new whereas department will alter the the existing one that is primary cost category so let me go here and let's first create a cost category called branch i don't see any cost category so i'll do so more then cost category is here create new i'll write branch and yes and accept it done branch now i'll go back and i will go to alter and i'll go to cost category and choose this primary cost category and make it as department i'm just changing the name okay so now i have two cost category branch and department oh you want to see it in chart of accounts yes of course so cost categories i have branch and department if i go to cost centers now you can see branch has none department already has two cost categories and further four sub cost categories so uh, done with the creation of cost category now come back it says allocate two lakh as traveling expenses traveling expenses we already have made to delhi branch under under branch cost category and sales team under department cost category so uh, let me make some cost center and we go to, we can go to chart of accounts also let us go to chart of accounts and create cost centers and from here right hand side this alt h is there multi master click on multi create and select first we'll make delhi category sorry first is category category is branch wait branch is already there name of the cost center is delhi under will be primary only under will be primary then uh, branch i'll make one more just if i have two no k r n a t a k karnataka that will also be primary then under department i will make accounting team also because i don't want to make one more so done so we have created three cost centers under two branches let me save it there you see 
Uh, if you zoom in, you can see branch has Delhi and Karnataka, department has sales, accounting and technical. So now we'll pass that transaction, which will be allocated to Delhi as well as to sales team across two different categories. These two are two different categories, branch and department. Okay. So allocate two lakhs as traveling expenses to Delhi branch, under branch, blah, 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 blah. So let us go to voucher and pass the voucher. Change the date. Of course, this is a payment voucher change the date then cost center class is not necessary right now account will be cast or SBI let me choose SBI this time then traveling expenses so this is the traveling expenses then choose the amount amount is 2 lakhs then department uh, under department we are not choosing Mahindra but sales team okay that is 2 lakhs then under branch that was Delhi so you see so these are two different categories and two difference under them there are two different parallelly uh, sales team and and Delhi Delhi is a branch sales team is a uh, small department isn't it so we are now allocating same expenses of rupees 2 lakhs to two different categories and two different cost setters so you save it and then this one comes give any number check number and save it being so there we are done so that's how we are finished with the uh, cost center topic thank you so much hopefully this video was uh, informative and I tried my best to make it shortest enough so that you will not get bored please do like subscribe and comment thank you for your support thank you bye bye